It is now October, and since the weather's cooling off, I am going to repot these two plants, which I've had displayed on my front porch all spring and summer long. I'm bringing you along. So first things first, they both need to be removed from their containers. After the soil's been removed, we can repot them. First one you see here is this palm, and I've already removed it from the container that it was in, which was this container here. And I will be discarding that. I've already taken all of the soil off and washed it. I just wanted to do that to make sure there weren't any spiders or other little critters living in there. And we have some nice roots on this plant. So after it is completely dry, I will be transplanting it in this bucket here, which I have nailed holes in the bottom. And I have a tiny little piece of screen. I always save screen <laughs> for purposes of putting it over the drain holes. But as you can see, that piece is way too small. So for this repotting, we will not be using this screen. We'll use this for a smaller flower pot later on. I'm going to be using this piece of plastic here. I will plant right on top of that. So we'll come back and I'll show you that here in a moment. Over here, we will be repotting this spiky plant. It is pokey and I am gonna have to wear gloves and be very careful when I repot this. But you see the new growth here on the outside. It's a beautiful plant. And it will get a new flower pot as well before I bring it in. I'm actually going to take both of these to work. So I'll come back and show you here in a moment what this looks like, okay? Okay, so it is now time to repot. So I'm going to be using some of my soil mix here for succulent plants and cacti. And to get the show on the road, first and foremost, I'm going to remove our palm plant and as you see, I've got a new container to repot in, and this is just an upcycled galvanized steel bucket. And I'm going to dump soil right in here, just like this. Okay. And I have gloves on. So, I am going to hit pause and come right back to you. Here is an up close view of what it looks like down inside of this new container. I want to make sure that I get all the roots buried. I am going to start with soil. I'm going to use my handy dandy scoop here. And simply Scoop the soil so do you have outdoor plants that 
you bring in for the winter. If so, what are they? Here, looky here. That sure sped things up, didn't it? <laughs> I need to show you what this is looking like. Now I'm going to simply tap this down. I'm going to try to get it to stand up right in the middle here. All right, this is what this is looking like. Okay, I'm going to add a little more soil. just to make sure all the roots are covered up well. This is actually happy frog potting soil mix in here. Do you have a favorite soil that you like for your succulent and tropical plants? or just a particular soil that you like to use for all of your indoor plants? If so, let me know. I just purchased what I can find. Okay. I'm very happy with the way this is looking here. Tap it down a little more. And then add just a wee bit more, okay? I'm actually running low on soil and I'm not going to be able to repot the other plant until I purchase some more. So I'm going to have to save that for another day. Okay, take off my gloves here and show you what we've got. Okay, there we have it. I gave it a little more soil just to be sure that all of the aerial roots were covered. Um, you can see here the <laughs> my stars okay let's try that again you can see right here there is still an aerial root here um that's growing that's not covered up too well so anyway it is repotted and i am going to take this to work and then i'll purchase some more soil so i can repot this guy over here I hope everyone is doing well, and thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.